the results of the calculation are displayed and you can see that the inlet flow rate with diesel is 171,396 barrels per day and if you scroll further you'll get the pump station requirements at Beaumont and Harvard we have a requirement of 5159 horsepower and 5369 horsepower obviously the installed horsepower of 5000 has been exceeded that's a, a dummy value anyway the pumps required are specified here at Beaumont you need a pump with a head of 3692.9 feet at a flow rate of 49.99 gallons per minute and the Harvard pump station requires a pump with 3842.9 feet at the same flow rate of 49.99 gallons per minute. Next the pipeline profile is displayed along with velocity, Reynolds number and pressure drop. Final section of the report shows the temperature and pressure profile along the pipeline Clicking the hydraulic gradient button shows the hydraulic gradient of the pressure profile starting at roughly 4,000 feet of head down to Harvard, Harvard and then on to approximately 4,000 feet then down to Compton. If you click the export button you can export the results to Windows Notepad or Microsoft Excel. So now we've run the simulation and determined the maximum flow rate possible. Next, we're going to select the pumps required for this application. Go to Pump Stations menu, Pumps and Drivers, and place the cursor there, push F3. That opens up available pumps. In this case, we'll select Beaumont TBD. And this particular pump curve has been created by the program automatically in the first simulation. We go to the next station at Harvard, push F3 and choose the pump. Harvard underscore TBD. Then we click the next button and hit the save and this time we're going to calculate with using the pump curve options everything else remains the same the results of the calculation considering the pump curves are again 171,396 barrels per day in this case the actual horsepower required based on these pump curves are 45,52 and 47.37 for a total of 92.89 horsepower. The pump curves that were generated are shown here. The Beaumont pump and the Harvard pump. The next step is to determine the maximum flow rate possible considering these pumps but using gasoline as the pump fluid. So you go over to the liquid screen, push F3, change the product to gasoline, click save and start calculations. this time the flow rate has been calculated at 182,190 barrels per day and that is for considering gasoline as the pumped fluid and the horsepower required at the two stations are 4189 and 4360 or a total of 8549 so this concludes the simulation of the products pipeline we're going to summarize the 
results of the study as follows. Okay, the results of the simulation are as follows. For diesel, we have a maximum flow rate of 171,396 barrels per day with a total HP required of 9,289. And for gasoline, the maximum flow rate is 182,190 barrels per day, the total HP required of 8,549. The software may be leased or purchased. Lease options consist of 6 months lease for $895 and 12 month lease for $1695. Purchase options include 3 year license for $3995 per license and a 3 year license for $4995 including 12 months of technical support. Annual technical support may also be purchased separately for $995 per copy. To download a demo of Lictherm, please visit sysstech.us forward slash demos.aspx.